Okay, first of our coordinate geometry and revision questions. We've got a line has equation y equals 5 minus 2x. Show the point p, 3 minus 1 lies on L. That's quite straightforward. We just take one of these values. So p, we've got the point 3 minus 1. So if we let x equal the value given by p, which is 3, and we put it into that, this implies that y equals 5 minus 2 times 3 which equals minus 1. Therefore, P lies on the line, lies on L. It's that nice and easy. Just put it in, get the value you need out, and then you've shown it lies on L. Now we're going to find an equation of the line that's perpendicular to L, which passes through P, give your answer in this format where A, B, and C are integers. So the first thing we need to do is find the gradient of the line. Well, we should know that if you've got the gradient of this line is, if you've got y equals 5 minus 2x, if we transform that into y equals mx plus c format, and m is the gradient, okay, c is where it crosses the y-axis, so this is the gradient, and this is where it crosses y. So let's just highlight those so it stands out which is which. So we've got M as the gradient. Rearrange, let's rearrange this. So we rearrange that. Basically, all we've got to do is put the minus 2x at the front. So you get minus 2x plus 5. So you can see it's going to cross Y at 5, and the gradient is minus 2. But we want the gradient, the perpendicular. So the perpendicular, will, if you should know, is that if you've got two um, gradients, so gradient of a tan of one line and it's perpendicular, so we call M1 times by M2, where the first one is the gradient of one line and this is the perpendicular line, they must times together give you minus 1. Or if you want the gradient of the perpendicular, just divide minus 1 by the gradient you've got, therefore. So we've got um, the one we want to find. So the m we need to find times by minus 2 equals minus 1. So that will tell us that the gradient we want must equal a half. Now, we know that it goes through the point 3 minus 1. Now, there's an easy format I think you should all learn to find the equation of a line. It's y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Now, y1, x1 is a point on the line. Sorry, x1, y1 is a point on the line. Let me just raise this bit out here. Um, so that we can concentrate on the stuff that we're interested in. So x1, y1 is equal to a point of line. So x1, y1 is a point on the line, so therefore that's our x1, y1. So y1 will be equal to the y value here, and x1 will be equal to the x value here, and we know the gradient. We've got our gradient, okay, we worked out our gradient here, so there's our gradient there. So we've got everything. We've got the y va that y1 value, the m value, and the x1 value, and we can just straight away write down the equation of our line. So let's write it down. So you get y minus y1, y1 is minus 1, equals m, m is a half, open brackets, x minus x1. x1 was this value of 3. Now, bearing in mind we want to have whole number values everywhere, it wouldn't be a good idea to times this bracket out by half, so let's times the whole equation by 2, because that would get rid of the half. Times this by 2, you get 2y. Minus times minus and minus gives you a plus, so we've got, effectively got plus 1 here. Times by 2 gives you plus 2. Half times by 2 just gives you 1, so we're just left with x minus 3 on this side, and we've got to get everything all onto the left hand side. So let's take everything onto the same, or the right hand side, it doesn't really matter which way we do it. It says ax plus by, so for neatness sake, I'm going to take it all to this, effectively the same as taking it all to this side. So I'm going to get naught equals x minus 2y 
and I've got minus 2 away from minus 3 gives us minus 5. Now, if we're going to write it exactly how they said, then we probably ought to write, therefore, x, or um, therefore is not a really great term to put, that the equation we wanted was x minus 2y minus 5 equals 0 to where a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 5. So let's just recap some of the theory there. Start bit was quite straightforward. Y equals mx plus c is the equation of a straight line, where m is the gradient, c is where it crosses the y-axis. So we rearrange this line to look like that to find our gradient. So this minus 2 here was our gradient. And if we've got two gradients, and one's a of two lines, then they will times together to give us minus 1 if they are perpendicular, if they are right angles to each other. So I need something times minus 2 gives me minus 1. So therefore, this something will equal minus 1 divided by minus 2, which gives me a half. Okay. The way you can like to think about it is um, you get one gradient equals minus 1 over the other gradient. doesn't matter which way you remember it, as long as you remember one of them. And then there's this equation for the line here. So this this is another way. For, this is also another way to remember the equation of a line. Is this y minus y1 equals mx minus x1? I think this is the most useful because um, it requires the least working to work out anything if you remember that one off. All right, y1 and x1. Uh, if you get x1 y1, that is a point on the line in this case given by 3 minus 1. So we substituted the 3 minus 1 oops, into the equation, into the right place, and we substituted the gradient of minus a half in for m into the right place. And then all we did from there on is a bit of algebra to simplify our answer to what we needed to get to. And that's how you do it.